Well, he's been trying to be as smart about it against this uh, supposed technical wizard. So far, he's doing what he wants to He wants the fight, he wants to engage, but as Larry said, this grizzled old veteran, he knows what he's doing in there too as a professional fighter. While he's given the title up, he hasn't given anything away. $15,000. Lomachenko is a different kettle of fish. He wants his friend badly to win a world title fight. Despite the two gold medals and the one million amateurs. Here's a case where Salido decides to come back and throws a wild shot. Catches the glove. So he's not one of those late 20s, early 30s guys hey! we're seeing at all. And that's what I'm expecting in this fight. I get a lot of anticipation as to what might happen before this thing's all over. Well, in these close rounds, Salido just being more active, throwing more punches, like that could very well get him. Thousands of fights. Uh, this is the house fighter here. Uh, there are a lot of people who want to see him win as well. Keeping in mind uh, to what Larry's talking about, Salido being from Mexico and the huge Mexican population here in San Antonio, South Mexico. Uh, hoping that his quickness and and uh, maybe his slickness will tell but himself, imposing his talent on this old goat. Without much conviction, um, I don't see him throwing many punches with mean intentions or, or I see him throwing a <laughs> the best indication <laughs> I can give. When you when you've got when you've got three rounds and, and we've only been five, that it's too close to call really. But I suspect if it goes the full twelve rounds, by the seventh or eighth round we're gonna start seeing uh, Salido open up. The wily old vet, Mondo Salido. Shots here in this round because that was just the first minute of this uh, sixth round. The other prominent bees, as I call, Stop. they've stalked and hunted down um, whatever, whoever we've seen them fight. Um, that's not Romanchenko's style, at least not against his. Toledo's in the second gear now, too. There's a fight happening in the stands. And There's the a fight happening excited. in the stands. And the, <laughs> more the more action there. And I think many people, including myself, admittedly thought that this fight, Salido versus Lomachenko, would, would possibly even steal the show tonight. It just hasn't lived up to that caliber thus far. But there's a long way to go yeah. yet. And, and, and this fight gets, uh, to me, ever more interesting all the time as it unfolds. This isn't a bad prize. But we're seeing a chess match of boxing in the ring. This round particularly, I thought Salido had a very good round most of the way. Well, on sheer aggressiveness, Salido should earn some of these ah! close rounds. Here we go to round seven from the Animal Dome, the Colonel Bob Sheridan. Larry Merchant, Christina Poncho all here. Our principal's in there for the WBO for the weight championship of the world. Orlando Salido in the silver front. Uh, Catch up with Lomachenko in the black front. Well, the it's the seventh field. round, and uh, it was like Salido said, okay. But you know, his style of quickness and, and touching and whatnot really lends to the type of boxing there is in the amateur style. Do your cautious. Frankly, I don't know who wins this round. Stop, stop! I don't know either. I don't know his legs buckled or just what happened to his knee, but uh, it looked like uh, Lomachenko. Well, this is the Salido we've seen before once the second half of the fight comes on. He he tries to just out hustle. heart yeah. and out yeah. hustle. And look as close as these early rounds have been. But <laughs> I mean, if he if he does continue to carry on through these quote unquote championship rounds, then I mean, this could be anywhere with these scores. Well, Lennon Chenko would be the loser in terms of fans who are expecting something extraordinary. He's in a, in, in a battle now that I don't think he expected to be quite this tough. And who knows, he could be ahead by four points right now, or he might be being behind by four, I don't know. We are becoming a uh, confirmed 
legal resident. Uh, he pushed him down. Didn't really shift Lomachenko. I don't know how many times he's going to Lomachenko, but that was a borderline punch. That was not a low punch. That one right there. Was but that one was. That one was. Now watch this right hand. One of the better punches. Smacks him on the well, inside. Well, that was a good professional move there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, he's learning as he's on the fly here. Well, I think together, this is an entertaining together. fight. It's just a grueling, hard, professional fight. Um, and Machiko caught him with a straight uh, left hand. Yep. Caught him with the right hand, too. They caught him in the chin, and Salido think, might be in some trouble. Yeah, I think he did hurt Salido, and Salido is hanging on here. Now, Literally. he is hurt. He's hurt. Now, let's see if the can finish him off. Blood coming from Salido's mouth. He caught him good. Salido is in a heap of trouble here now. Separating the two, I think this fight can could go be either a draw, way. Or could be a draw. When you get it that close. But remember, there were four or five rounds of this. He's just holding on. So all he can do right now, so it's clear Lomachenko right. To the winner by split decision, Orlando City Salido. How about that? Well, we're on the money.